Welcome to Tester Scale Workshop. I'm Brett Green and today we'll be having a look at painting model aircraft interiors. Our subject for this exercise is Pro Modeler's Dornier 217E and we'll be painting both the wheel wells and the cockpit. Pro Modeler's Dornier 217 is cleverly designed and very well detailed. All of this detail will benefit from some extra time spent in the painting stage. There are lots of different approaches that you might take, but I'm going to outline the steps involved in the techniques that I prefer. The interior sections of German aircraft were painted RLM 02 grey. As far as possible, I like to paint these parts before they're even removed from the sprues. But in the case of smaller parts such as gear legs, it's more practical to cut these from the sprues uh, in order that they be cleaned up with seam lines removed uh, and the, the sprue connections tidied up before the paint is applied. All the airbrush work that you see here, both the overall uh, O2 colour and also the, uh, the subsequent weathering, is done with the Aztec A470 airbrush fitted with a fine tan tip. The next step, after the basic coat is applied, is to spray very fine lines of a thin red-brown mix along the main structural features. This both uh, provides an impression of depth and also uh, gives a, a, a bit of grime and, and dirt uh, in these well-worn areas. Now we're going to add even more definition to these structural features using an oil wash. I like to use about a 50-50 mix of lamp black and raw umber uh, mixed quite thin with uh, odorless thinners and applied with a fine brush uh, very specifically to the edges of the structural detail on these interior parts. Once dry this will give uh, an even better impression of, uh, of depth and shadow. Here are the insides of the gear doors after the oil wash is dried. If you find that you've got an excess of oil wash that's pooling in the middle of panels, you can always get rid of this residue with a damp fingertip. One other method that I like to use uh, for weathering the interior surfaces is to add some chipping uh, of the, uh, the larger uh, surfaces. Sometimes a silver pencil can look a little stark and unrealistic on these interior surfaces, so recently I've started to use the point of a dark brown pencil to just add some spots of rust and chipping to these sort of parts.